So Small Steps at Home is where we go and visit people actually in their own homes, in the community, so it's more convenient and far more comfortable for them. It's great if you've got, you know, professional skills, but the most important thing is that you've got lived experience of bringing up a family yourself. It's really rewarding. I see this as a very positive programme. Having regular visits from Magda has been a lifeline on some days. Being a new mum, everything's new, you're a bit unsure, you're a bit scared, what's about to happen, if you're doing the right thing. Luan was just reassuring, she was great, she gave me the advice I needed. But to have someone to talk to about what you're going through, and they've got a wealth of experience with their own children and having spoken to other mums, but they're concentrating on you is amazing. I like the fact that you build a bond with your, your family mentor. I like that it's in your own setting, so you, you're, you're in your own comforts. And that is such a relief and it removes so much tension that I might have built up over the last couple of weeks or so. I just love watching Tia and Kaisha together. Uh, Tia is just so fantastic mom. Yeah. She is. <laughs> yes, um, the way they play together, seeing that bond. Luan's always upbeat. She always got good advice for me. She's just become a, a member of the family, basically. She's, she's not a mentor, she's, she's a member, of, another member of my family. It's been emotional, has it? And it's been happy and it's been exciting. It's very special, it's an honour. It's a real honour to share the, that journey with them. So on a typical visit, there's a box of activities that we can go through. It's a wide range of topics we, we discuss with the families. It might be nutrition, sleep, play, reading. But the activities in the box have been really useful for ideas of what to do with her because I just struggled to begin with to know what do I do with this baby? And Magda would pick out activities for me and say, you know, you could try this and you could try that and give me specific leaflets for things I could do with her at the age she was at that time. So that's, that's been a godsend. We have a different handbook for different ages. It's the handbook for life. And obviously as the babies get older, obviously that grows with them to going into more tantrums and managing fight and aggression, etc. And all those lovely things you have to deal with as they're getting bigger. I would definitely recommend having a family mentor. So even if someone thinks, oh, I'm not really mad keen on, on having one, I think they'll get something out of it that they weren't expecting.